Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video on how you can upload a video to Canva. It's pretty simple to do, so let's go ahead and get started. First, we have canva.com open, and we're going to go ahead and create a new design. And then on the sidebar here, we're going to select videos, and then select the video 1080p template. This is going to give us a basic video template for our Canva project. Now, if we want to actually upload a video to this project, what we can do is go to the left-hand side where you see uploads. And what we want to do is click on where it says upload files. Next, you need to locate the video that you want to upload to Canva. So this should be like a .mp4 or a .mov or something along those lines, but it should be a video file that you can upload as a video to Canva. So just go ahead and find it in your folders and click on where it says open. This will begin uploading as you can see on the left hand side here. It's going to show a progress bar showing how far it is in the uploading process. So this might take a couple minutes depending how long the video actually is. So just give it a few minutes. And once it's done, you should see that progress bar removed. And now we can see the length of the video, which in my case is 5.5 seconds. So if we go ahead and click and drag this onto our project, it's going to upload that video to our canvas. And let's say we want to make this fill up the entire canvas. So if we just drag it to the top right, or the top left, I mean, and we drag it all the way down to the bottom right, this will cover the entire canvas. And now if we play the video, it should play the video in the entire canvas. So if you want to go ahead and like do any chopping or trimming, you can do so in the timeline area at the bottom. You can also add additional clips by clicking on add page. And so we can upload another video, for example, and we can drag this to fill up the entire screen. And so now when we look at the timeline, if we play our video, it's going to go to the next video clip in the timeline. If we want to add in a transition, we can go ahead and click on where it says add transition. And let's say we want to do a dissolve. We can do it like so. And now if we go ahead and play the video, it's going to dissolve into the next video in the timeline. And that's pretty similar to like your full-fledged editors, except obviously it's not going to be as good as a full-fledged video editing software, but it is pretty good for what it is. And if you want to go ahead and share this, you can just click the share button at the top right. And that's going to allow you to either send a link to someone to share it, or you can just download the video as a whole. But that's going to do for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped you out.